സിനിമ എന്നത് എത്ര പറഞ്ഞാലും തീരാത്ത ഒരു കഥയാണ് സിനിമയെ കുറിച്ച് പറയുമ്പോഴൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ ആദ്യം ചിന്തിക്ക അഭിനേതാക്കളെയും സംവിധായകരെയും പാട്ടുകാരെയും ഒക്കെയാണ് പക്ഷെ എത്രയോ സാങ്കേതിക പ്രവർത്തകരുടെ അഹോരാത്ര പരിശ്രമത്തിന്റെ ഫലമായിട്ടാണ് ഒരു സിനിമ നമ്മൾ കാണുന്ന രൂപത്തിൽ തിയേറ്ററുകളിൽ എത്തുന്നത് സിനിമ നമ്മൾ കാണുക മാത്രമല്ല ചെയ്യുന്നത് കേൾക്കുകയും അനുഭവിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ഒന്ന് ആലോചിച്ചു നോക്കൂ സിനിമയിലെ ഒരു അതിതീവ്ര വൈകാരിക നിമിഷം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മനസ്സ് നിറഞ്ഞു ചിരിച്ച ഒരു തമാശ രംഗം അത് പൂർണ്ണമാകുന്നത് ദൃശ്യഭാഷ കൊണ്ട് മാത്രമല്ല കൃത്യമായി വിന്യസിച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന ശബ്ദ ചിത്രങ്ങൾ കൊണ്ട് കൂടിയാണ് അസാദ് വെബിനാറിന്റെ സീ വെബിനാർ സീരീസിലെ ഇന്ന് നമ്മളോട് സംവദിക്കുന്നത് ഇന്ത്യൻ സിനിമാ രംഗത്തെ മുൻനിര സൗണ്ട് എഞ്ചിനീയർമാരിൽ ഒരാളും സംവിധായകനും തിരക്കഥാകൃത്തുമായ ശ്രീ നിധിൻ ലൂക്കോസ് ആണ് അമ്പിളി വാർത്തകൾ ഇതുവരെ തുടങ്ങിയ മലയാളം സിനിമകളുടെ സൗണ്ട് ഡിസൈനർ ആണ് നിധിൻ ലൂക്കോസ് ടു ആഡ് ടു ദാറ്റ് എസ് എ സൗണ്ട് ഡിസൈൻ ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റ് അറ്റ് എ ഫിലിം ആൻഡ് ടെലിവിഷൻ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ഹാസ് ബീൻ എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് മെനി ഫിലിംസ് വിച്ച് ഹാവ് ബീൻ അപ്രീഷിയേറ്റഡ് അറ്റ് ദ ഇന്റർനാഷണൽ ലെവൽ As a sound designer of Titi, he won the Golden Leopard Award in Lernaco Locarno International Film Festival, backed awards from Palm Springs, Murakesh Film Festival, Shanghai Film Festival, and many more. He is a production sound mixer of Hollywood directors like Bennett Miller and Julie Tamer when they shot their documentary film in India. Recently completed the Sandeep or Pink Ferrer with director Dibagar Banerji as a sound designer. That's why I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you about it. I'm handing over the session to Mr. Nithish Lukos. So sir, it's your time. Hi. So welcome Mr. Nithish Lukos personally and for the entire SAP family. And also, we have all the participants in the joint show. ഞാൻ ഈ വെബിനാറിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ചെയ്യുകയാണ് ഞാനൊരു ഒരു ഒരു മോട്ടിവേഷൻ സ്പീക്കർ ഒന്നുമല്ല അങ്ങനെ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു ഒരു മോട്ടിവേഷൻ മോട്ടിവേഷണൽ ആയിട്ട് സംസാരിക്കാൻ എനിക്കറിയാമെന്ന് എനിക്കറിയില്ല സോ എനിക്ക് പറയാൻ പറ്റുന്ന കുറച്ച് കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഞാൻ എന്റെ ലൈഫിൽ ഇപ്പൊ ഒരു ഒരു സിനിമ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ ഒരു അംബീഷൻ ഒക്കെ കൊണ്ട് നടന്നിട്ട് ഒരു സിനിമയൊക്കെ പഠിക്കാൻ പോയ ഒരാളുടെ ഒരു ഒരു എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് എനിക്ക് ചിലപ്പോൾ പറയാൻ പറ്റിയേക്കും അത് അത് ചിലപ്പോൾ ഇൻസ്പിറേഷൻ ആണെങ്കിൽ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഗുഡ് ഞാൻ എൻ്റെ വീട് വയനാട്ടിലാണ് വയനാട്ടിൽ മാനന്തവാടിയിൽ കല്ലോടിക്കെട്ട് അയില അയിലമൂല എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ ഒരു ചെറിയ സ്ഥലമാണ് അപ്പോൾ എൻ്റെ ഫാദർ പോലീസിലായിരുന്നു പോലീസിൽ വർക്ക് ചെയ്യായിരുന്നു എൻ്റെ സ്കൂളിങ് മിക്കവാറും കല്ലോടി സെൻറ് ജോസഫ് യു പി സ്കൂൾ ഹൈസ്കൂൾ ഹയർ സെക്കൻഡറി സ്കൂളൊക്കെയാണ് അതിനിടയ്ക്ക് രണ്ട് മൂന്ന് ഗവൺമെന്റ് സ്കൂളിലൊക്കെ പഠിച്ചിട്ടൊക്കെ ഒരു 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 സാധാരണ ഒരു നാട്ടിലെ മലയാളം മീഡിയം സ്കൂളിൽ പഠിച്ച ഒരാൾ എന്ന എന്നൊരു ഒരു ഒരു ലിമിറ്റേഷൻ എന്തായാലും എനിക്ക് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഞാനൊരു ഒരു ഒരു ഇന്ത്യൻ ഫിലിം സ്കൂളിലേക്ക് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു 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 ഇന്ത്യൻ ഹയർ എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷനിലേക്ക് അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യും അപ്പോൾ അതിൽ നിന്ന് അതിലേക്കൊക്കെ പ്രചോദനമായ കുറെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ ഒക്കെ ഒരു എൻ്റെ ഒക്കെ ഒരു ചൈൽഡ്ഹുഡ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ആണ് ഞാൻ സിനിമ നോട്ടീസ് ചെയ്ത് തുടങ്ങിയത് ഞാൻ വീട്ടിൽ അപ്പ അമ്മ പിന്നെ എൻ്റെ എൻ്റെ ഇളയ അനിയൻ ഞാൻ ഞങ്ങൾ നാല് പേരായിരുന്നു ഒരു ഫാമിലിയിൽ അപ്പം ചെറു ചെറിയ സമയത്ത് ചെറുതായിരുന്ന സമയത്ത് കുട്ടിയായിരുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഞങ്ങൾ നാട്ടിലൊരു വായനശാല ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഒരു അപ്പൊ ആ ഈ വായനശാലയിലൊക്കെ വായനശാലയാണെന്ന് ഒന്നും ടി വി ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു വീട്ടിലൊന്നും ടി വി ഇല്ല മിക്കവാറും ആട് ആളുകളുടെ വീട്ടിലൊന്നും ടി വി ഇല്ല ഒരു നയൻറ്റീസിൽ ഒരു ലേറ്റ് നയൻറ്റീസിലൊക്കെയാണ് ആ സമയത്ത് വായനശാലയിൽ ഇരുന്ന് കാണുന്ന സിനിമകളാണ് ദൂരദർശനിൽ നിന്ന് വരുന്ന സിനിമകളാണ് നമ്മൾ സിനിമയായിട്ട് മിക്കവാറും കാണുക കാരണം തിയേറ്ററിൽ പോയിട്ടപ്പോഴും ഒന്നും സിനിമ കാണാൻ പറ്റില്ല നമ്മളെ കൊണ്ടുപോകുന്നില്ല വല്ലപ്പോഴൊക്കെ ഒരു സിനിമയ്ക്ക് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ ഈ സിനിമകൾ കണ്ടിട്ടാണ് നമ്മൾ സിനിമ എന്നുള്ളൊരു ഒരു ആഗ്രഹമൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ ഡെവലപ്പ് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് കാരണം എല്ലാവർക്കും ഉള്ളത് തന്നെ ഒരു ഒരു ബിഗ് സ്ക്രീനിനോടുള്ള ഒരു 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 ഭ്രമം എന്നൊക്കെ പറയുന്ന ഒരു സംഗതിയായിരുന്നു നമ്മളെ ആദ്യ സിനിമയിൽ എത്തിച്ചത് സിനിമയോട് സിനിമ ഇഷ്ടമാക്കി അതിന് ഇൻസ്പിറേഷൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ സിനിമ കാണുമ്പോൾ ഒരു പ്രോസസ് ഉണ്ട് നമ്മൾ തിയറക്ടിക്കലായിട്ട് പറയുകയാണെങ്കിൽ സസ്പെൻഷൻ 
നമ്മുടെ ഡിസ്ബിലീഫിനെ നമ്മൾ ബോധപൂർവ്വം സസ്പെൻഡ് ചെയ്ത് അങ്ങനെ ഒരു ഒരു അങ്ങനെ സിനിമ കണ്ട് ഭ്രമിച്ച് നടന്ന ഒരു 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 കുട്ടി അപ്പോ എനിക്ക് ഈ വാനശാലയുടെ അടുത്ത് അന്ന് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒരു കുമ്മിട്ടി കടയൊക്കെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അതിനെ തൊട്ടടുത്തായിട്ട് ചെറിയ അതിൽ മരം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ ചെറിയ ജംഗ്ഷനിലാണ് ഈ കുമ്മിട്ടി കടയുടെ പുറകിലായിട്ട് ഒരു ചെറിയ കല്ലുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ ഈ കല്ല് എനിക്ക് വേണ്ടി റിസർവ് ചെയ്ത കല്ലാണ് ഞാൻ ഞാൻ ആ കല്ലിൽ പോയി ഇരുന്നിട്ടാണ് എല്ലാ ഞായറാഴ്ച ഈ സിനിമകൾ കാണും അപ്പൊ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു പത്ത് നൂറ് നൂറോളം പേരുകൾ പേര് ആൾക്കാർ വരുന്ന ഒരുമിച്ച് കൂടി സിനിമ കണ്ട ഒരു ഒരു കൾച്ചർ എന്നാണ് നമ്മളൊക്കെ സിനിമയിലേക്ക് സിനിമ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു സംഗതി ഒരു ഒരു സിനിമ ഉണ്ടാക്കണമെന്നൊന്നും തോന്നിട്ടൊന്നുമില്ല സിനിമ കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ട് അതിനോട് ഇഷ്ടമുണ്ട് ഒരു ആഗ്രഹമുണ്ട് ഇതെന്തു അത്ഭുതമാണെന്നൊരു തോന്നലൊക്കെ ഉണ്ട് അന്ന് അത്യാവശ്യം നന്നായിട്ട് വായിക്കുന്ന ഒരു കൂട്ടത്തിലൊക്കെ ആയിരുന്നുകൊണ്ടും അന്ന് അപ്പച്ചനൊക്കെയാണ് ഒരു ഫിലിം ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ടിനെ പറ്റിയിട്ടൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞു തോന്നുന്നത് ഫിലിം ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ടിനെ പറ്റി ഞാൻ ഒരു പത്താം ക്ലാസ് പന്ത്രണ്ടാം ക്ലാസ് പഠിക്കുന്ന സമയത്തൊക്കെ എന്നോട് ഇങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇത് ഫിലിം ഫിലിം ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഉണ്ട് ഇന്ത്യയിൽ അവിടെ പോയി പഠിക്കാൻ പറ്റും നമ്മൾ ആ ഒരു സ്പേസ് നിന്ന് വരുന്ന ഒരാൾ അങ്ങനത്തെ ഒരു ഓറിയൻറ്റേഷൻ ഒന്നുമില്ല നമുക്ക് അങ്ങനെ ഒരു സ്വപ്നം കാണാനുള്ളൊരു ഒരു പോസിബിലിറ്റി പോലെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ അത് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് പ്ലസ് ടു ചെയ്തു അവിടെ ഹൈസ്കൂൾ കഴിഞ്ഞ് പ്ലസ് ടു ഒക്കെ ചെയ്തു പിന്നെ സ്കൂളിൽ ഒരു 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 ആവറേജ് സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റ് മാത്രമായിരുന്നു അത് കഴിഞ്ഞ് ടി ടി സി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞൊരു കോഴ്സ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോയിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ വീട്ടിൽ വീട്ടുകാർ പറഞ്ഞു അങ്ങനത്തെ കോഴ്സിന് പോയിക്കോ ദെൻ യു വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എ ജോബ് അറ്റ് ലീസ്റ്റ് യു വിൽ സർവൈവ് യുവർ യുവർ എൻ്റെ ലൈഫ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ ഒരു ഒരു സാധാരണ മെഡിക്കൽ ക്ലാസ് കുടുംബത്തിൻ്റെ ചിന്താഗതി കൊണ്ട് അങ്ങനെ ടി ടി സി പഠിച്ചു അത് അത് കഴിഞ്ഞ് ഞാൻ ദേവഗിരി കോളേജിൽ കോഴിക്കോട് ദേവഗിരി കോളേജിൽ ഡിഗ്രി ഗ്രാജുവേഷൻ ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഒരു റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ഉണ്ട് സാറിനോട് ഒന്ന് ഇംഗ്ലീഷിൽ സംസാരിക്കാവോ എന്ന് മലയാളം പെട്ടെന്ന് ക്യാച്ച് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റാത്ത കുറച്ചു പേര് നമ്മുടെ കൂട്ടത്തിലുണ്ട് I started from my uh, childhood, yeah. As a child, I, I was always, I had an orientation towards cinema, the, the kind of films which I watched. So most of the films which I watched is from, from, uh, from our culture, our, our cinema, Malayalam cinema. Then it became to uh, other language cinema, like Tamil cinema, sometimes Hindi cinema also. But we never had an orientation towards the world cinema. <clears throat> I joined uh, uh, San Jose School of Devagri in... Uh, 2007 for my graduation 2004 for my graduation and i i was uh, i was in english department i was doing my graduation in english uh, and we we had two amazing uh, teachers there uh, one no, nagesh sir and salil verma sir so they they were english professors and they they formed a film film uh, club in the college so uh, most of the students in the college is from uh, from the villages of uh, most of them are from either from kannur or from calicut or from uh, vinard so they start we start watching uh, world cinema from this i remember uh, we were watching we were watching kislovsky the uh, i was watching we were watching german cinema and, and almost all language films from the world which can be shown Uh, in the college we had a film club so we had a uh, preview theater there so we used to watch it then it it was like a it was like a, a shock for me to watch all uh, the cinema around the world because it, it was it was entirely different from from the cinema we watched from our cinema because the sensibilities are different the life is different so we we make our art like the life you <clears throat> and then i then i i thought i should i should do something i should i should know how they make cinema i, I need to go to the film school and because, because of uh, because of that uh, initiative initiative in the college because of that film club almost four or five of us went to uh, film school different film school i had a batchmates and i had a, i had a i mean i had a senior and i had a junior then uh, someone co- uh, joined in wrestling roots international in uh, bombay so there were four or five of us of the same uh, age group my, my junior senior group we ended up going to writing the exam the entrance exam and going to uh, a film school and in uh, the uh, most mostly we, we wanted to get into the indian film school which 
there is only 10 10 seats available in a year which is obviously difficult for a, 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 a like applicant because you are competing with the uh, whole student all all candidates from india especially you are malayali and you don't know you may not know english well or you know, you don't know hindi at all to speak and uh, when when the so i wrote the exam and uh, before that i i got a psc uh, i got a psc i mean i write a psc and job and i got job as a teacher so i worked for a year year and a half for the government of kerala and edu education department then when i i wrote this exam in a, in a fti pune uh, i got the uh, entrance clear then they asked us to come to the institute for uh, an orientation course for three days plus interview. So basically, there are I think ten or twelve seats. So they they call three times uh, students, and uh, that I think they call forty students, and out of forty, they will give admission to ten or twelve. That was the procedure. So we went there. I I, I think we were, we were three four Malayalis were there in the in that group for the interview. So we never thought that we'll get into it because we don't know the language they speak. They, they speak in they, and English we could manage, but Hindi we can't manage at all. We can't speak Hindi. But I remember one of my one of the uh, uh, one of the professor who later became the dean of the institute, Kedarna Babadi. He was asking me about. Uh, he wasn't. He never asked me. They never asked me that whether I worked in cinema before or not. They said, uh, I, I told them I haven't worked in cinema. I, I, I watched a lot of cinema and I want to be a filmmaker. That's why I'm here. They, they, they'll ask, the first question will be, why do you want to be a film institute? I said, I want to be a filmmaker. I want to learn this art of filmmaking. <clears throat> they said, okay, then why do you want to go to sound? I said, maybe I I most, I most trust my ears more than my eyes and I would I have more orientation towards that hearing portion and I, I used to listen to uh, the, uh, the sound in cinema a lot and yeah then they started asking me about uh, I was I, that, before that we used to watch world cinema so I had on a little orientation about cinema around the world the European cinema Eastern European cinema then that American cinema and Hollywood and other Indian cinema and all that then uh, then he asked about the, the, the their major question was Okay, you know the cinema around your world. What about cinema from your place? Where are you from? I said I'm from Kerala. <clears throat> okay, so you, do you know Adur Gobal What 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 is the film which you like the most of him? So luckily, I I I, I think at that time I almost watched all his films, Adur's films, Arvindan films, K G Jyoti's uh, films, and all that. So they wanted to know from a student. Uh, who's getting into an applicant who's, who want to get into the film school? I think almost all the uh, the higher education uh, schools in India, colleges in India, they would like to take uh, people from who knows their their culture the most, who's who's more rooted to their place. Then uh, then after two weeks, I came back, and after two weeks, I got the I got a call from my friend. And he said that you are selected as a you got second rank and you are, you got selected. I was so happy that uh, okay we got selected to FTI Film Institute of India as a second rank holder. And <clears throat> then I left the job. I left the job. I, I I took a leave and but after three years I resigned the job also the teacher job. FTI Pune Film Institute that opened up a lot of things for me as a person also. We are uh, we are a bunch of people who is coming from different different states, different culture, different languages. Like or, man, everything is different. Like there is a uh, lot of differences. Like I had friends who is coming from, uh, I mean the well, well, like the wealthiest family families and the sons and daughters of uh, IAS, IPS officers. And there are people who is coming from uh, uh, middle class families from mostly from Kerala and Bengal. I think there's a lot of Bengalis and Malayalis in the institute. And these guys are all from the middle class uh, families. <laughs> and there are a lot of I mean, all, all kind of students, I mean, economically, in edu edu education ways also. 
so there are post graduates there are doctors engineers so there are a lot of people who is coming together to learn something called cinema i think that was the idea when when nehru who uh, formed the institute film institute in 1964 61 maybe and in 61 the whole idea was to get all uh, all all students from different uh, part of the country they're all uh, joining and and studying art of cinema together and they disperse to their own spaces and go back and make make their cinema that was the idea <clears throat> because india has uh, a lot of uh, language and cultural varieties so so in, in a country like that people has to come from different places and they should go back and make their cinema in their space that was the idea of a film school in india in a country like india <clears throat> then it it, it 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 just went on like the first first year it the t- time was moving we were learning so in first year we were learning everything editing camera sound direction or everything so everyone is learning everything together then after second year and third year we you will go to your own specialization so i, I chose sound so it's, it's it's called sound design basically the course is called sound recording and sound design <clears throat> and we we uh, record sound on location when uh, it's called sync sound when the actors are performing we get to when we we mic them on board they give, we give there's a body mics there'll be boom mics which is on on the top like this for an actor and after the shooting we do the post production after editing we get into the sound and uh, the sound design portion of it the final studio work basically sound design and uh, <coughs> final mixing so this uh, these things were going on in a, a film school it it was a great experience to go to uh, an indian film school and do uh, get and get oriented and basically the uh the film school uh, fti was making me a universal person basically that's what i felt about uh, institute <clears throat> because we every every day every day there are uh, we we used to watch films so every day there, there is there are films and we are watching films uh, from all over the world all over the world uh, every in every language in every con- country if in, in every culture so we we used to watch that how it's not different because the the lifestyle may be different but the basic emotions are the same for everyone and we used to watch uh, john abraham's films like amma amma ariana all, all that and it's a and it's a it's a great honor to watch all these films on in in film print they still have film film print the national film archive which is near to pune pune film institute so they have a film films on print it's an honor to watch and i think still they they are uh, showing students on on film print not the digital viewing so we used to watch all the films from the from from charlie chaplin george melies from that then uh, essenstein then tarkovsky all all kind of films you used to watch and then then you form something uh, about how you want to make your film also so learning is something and applying the uh, apply applying what you learn is something something different you uh, you learn something from a school you make an attitude and but you need to unlearn these things to go out and work with people because the uh, people outside are not only the film students from some school it's all uh, women people come to the industry from different background so you should be able to communicate with everyone so i the first opportunity i got after uh, my uh, film studies the first opportunity is uh, i uh, there is a friend my, my one of my batchmates who introduced me to ram reddy who is a director of titi we shot the film the canada film which won uh, many international awards titi we shot in 2014 2014 we shot the film 2015 it released so for one year i have been worked in any other film i just i was just doing this and that film a lot of films uh, that film got a lot of appreciation and that one film got me a lot of other films also and that introduced me as a sound designer to the uh, film film world 
and uh, <clears throat> yeah and from the from the institute uh, uh, when i was uh, studying and uh, rasul pukuti the sound mixing engineer who who got oscar so rasul uh, rasul uh, introduced the scholarship award for sound students in fti i think this is just after he got the oscar so i also applied okay let's let's apply let's apply and see what's happening i applied then i went home i was at, at home in kerala i am i'm getting a call and saying that okay this is from rasul sofi is from bombay uh so you are selected to the uh, award no i mean it was rasul only he said he said yeah, i am rasul pogutti so you, you you got selected for my scholarship award this year i thought it's some friend who is just uh, joking so i said okay then i called back <laughs> then he he picked up the call and he said yeah yeah i told you you won the award yeah yeah that's true then i think in within two days they they got me a flight ticket to colombo there is ifa award going on the uh, ifa film award and it was in colombo that year so i went there and i met rasul in uh, colombo and uh, the whole bollywood was sitting there like everyone like uh, shahrukh khan satan khan all the, the whole bollywood was sitting there <clears throat> and all of them were in their blazers and all that and i didn't have a blazer i i was just i was just wearing a pants and shirt <laughs> and i uh, then they called me for the scholarship award they called rasul him and sanjay that was the was there who is giving the award and uh, on yeah and yeah and it it happened then uh, towards the end of the institute film institute and rasul asked me to join join him as a as a, as a uh, uh, assistant uh, in his office so basically i got an internship with him almost 6 6 months to learn with uh, how the industry works and how sound works and all that which really helped me to form an attitude towards my work uh because a, a fresh uh, pass out from a film school they may not know how to deal with uh, uh, the industry so rasul helped me to get an attitude make an attitude how towards the work the work you do the the films you do <clears throat> and uh yeah later later we started i i started working in tv and and other other awards also i mean other films also in malayalam i did a film called ayal sashi ayal sashi is by sajin babu then rendu pair rendu pair directed by prem shankar that was a independent film and then ambili ambili uh, john's film <coughs> john paul's director ambili then vartagal idvare by manoj manoj nayar this uh film i did <clears throat> mostly it is released and uh, yeah people have watched all those films and then there's a i think almost 10 15 canada films and telugu films i did and uh, recently i did a film called the sandeep or pinky farar which is a bollywood film by divagar banerji <clears throat> so and 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 uh, then later I always wanted to be a, a filmmaker uh, when I went to FTI. That's that was a that was a first dream. It's not about getting a job or it's not about getting a <clears throat> getting or making a way of living. It's a, the way of living I already sorted as a uh, <clears throat> as a teacher. I was I was fine. I was making my living. <clears throat> This was different. I wanted to do my film. I wanted to do something different. and i wrote a script i was writing from uh, institute also i wrote my script i i have a friend who who wanted to make that as a feature film produce it it's a small film so uh, i mean budget wise it's a small film <clears throat> so that's called paga in in malayalam paga revenge or vengeance so we shot the film in vinad i wanted to make a film which is the first film is from my place where i am where i am from so i was searching for a story in my place and i i don't know what to what to make i don't have a story last year so last year 
2018 i know 19 19 february i attended a i attended a, the church festival in my place and i wasn't there at my place for 3 4 years for this festival because for work and all that i mostly out i used to be i used to go out and work so this time when i watched this the church festival i got amazed the with the sounds and the 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 visual and the sound scale of it how how big it is like how intense it is and i i told one of my friends and uh, let's let's make the first film here i want to make a film here now, in this place in my place <clears throat> because no one can tell the story of my place maybe if i don't tell maybe no no one else will tell that and i have uh, uh i i then i accidentally one of those days i went to the river there's a river near my place and i was sitting beside the river with, uh, with my friends and then i thought there is some story here there is a story here that river has a lot of trenches trenches and there are people people die die people already people dies in the trenches accidentally also people people dies and there there is one man who who usually come and pick up the dead body so something started hitting me okay maybe i should develop this and do something and then that's how i started writing in my film that's how i uh, uh, we uh, reached at a point that okay let's uh, let's make this i i wrote the film with a uh, i had a, a script mentor from bombay so we wrote it almost for 10 months one year and we shot it in last this after just after this summer jan jan and feb first week we shot so now the film is being edited the editing is going in goa so i am in goa now in lockdown stuck here <clears throat> yeah now this is this is it where i am now with my uh, my film career with doing the editing of my feature film and the sound and music will, should be I and mean, will be starting that very soon and we expect to complete the film within next 2 3 months 2 months yeah career wise i'm that's what i have done till, till now so uh the as the uh, aspirants of uh, the, the students or maybe you, you guys are students from uh, different schools or you know different colleges and you undergraduates or postgraduates and you want to maybe you want to get into a get into a <coughs> uh a course which is a professional course maybe so this this course can be said as a pro- professional course but i didn't see that as a professional course because i want to learn filmmaking which was which was a different journey i think you, you what you need to do is you need you just need to follow your your heart your passion that is going to make you uh you make you the best at what you do otherwise it's just you're do, if you're doing it just for a living or just for money then you can do anything i mean you don't have to go to a professional school you'll, you'll find an, anything to because uh, human beings are we can survive we'll survive we have great survival instincts so we'll survive anyway if you have a dream if you have a passion to something you follow your passion you you listen to your heart don't think with your head i mean just go go whatever your heart says and believe in the intuition believe in your intuition believe in your reflexes believe in your first thought i think the first thought is the right thought maybe because that is right and then we manipulate that with our head and we we conclude we are reaching some kind of conclusions and maybe the maybe parents want their uh, kids to do what what they i mean they have ambitions about kids but i think it, almost i mean all the parents should identify what what uh, what a child needs and they need, they need to <clears throat> make a route to the to their kids to achieve their dreams or anything like that because everyone is different like i i have an i have an and uh, uh because i want to go to a film school and i want to learn cinema i i i, I always wanted that and but you wanted something else you want something else and you just follow your passion or instinct if you have a passion or if you want to do something if you really want like something to do 
whatever it is like how big or how small it is there's a story of uh, the the first uh, president of uh, america abraham lincoln he 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 was a he was from a poor, poor family his uh, father was a, a shoemaker then the in, a, in the american senate there are a lot of uh, rich people who come to the senate and they once said you are the president but your father is still a shoemaker and he said that my father is a shoemaker but he can make the best shoes in america if you want a shoe you can go and talk to him he'll, he'll make the best shoe you can find in this country so it's just like that you be the best at what you do whatever you do it doesn't matter yeah if you're a beggar be, be the best beggar i mean on a on a fun note but <clears throat> so i think that that's it do things from your heart and the best you can for me i i've, I've seen and uh, people saying that cinema whoever is working in cinema my friends and uh, colleagues and other stuff so they say that cinema is something which which they do, they just do for their living it's and but their life is important more, more than cinema but for me my cinema is important than my life the li- life i live i think that that makes me work more and that makes me love my uh, my my art maybe i'll call cinema as my art what i'm doing because i'm creating something through cinema if i'm i want to direct a cin- film if i'm if i'm doing a sound design portion of a film i'm i'm creating an arc through it i'm i'm creating an emotional arc through sound so the visuals if 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 you watch a film without sound you just don't get it but you can still listen to a film and understand it you don't need the visuals also sometimes how much we we used to hear that the 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 audio recordings of the uh the cassette recordings of the films no shabdarega just called shabdarega used to do that and uh, for radio also. so sound does a lot of things and as a career uh, as a career if you want to get into uh, cinema i'm not talking only about sound i'm talking about uh, something called cinema and yeah sound also which is a branch of it you you need to make your passion in a way that you, this is this, this is what you want and this is this is your life and you don't want anything in your life just don't do anything for for just uh, just to make a living you'll make a living somehow you'll make a living but do what whatever you really want to do in your life that's what i would say and follow your instinct listen to your heart that's the first thing <clears throat> and as a career if you're selecting uh, sound or cinema you try to get into the there is a, there are a lot of uh, film school film schools or audio i don't know engineering schools in this in the place in, in in kerala also there's a lot of schools see if you what do you want i mean i wanted cinema i went to a film school to learn cinema more than more than sound sound is sound is a branch of it if you don't know cinema you don't know you can't do sound in cinema <clears throat> <clears throat> it depends but if and and there is there are many uh, film school in uh, film schools in india like there is a, now there is a kr narayan film school in in um, in kottayam the state government has started a film school so who are, would like to go to apply you can apply i think every year they call her for applications and you can you can apply there or you can apply to fti pune film institute in pune or satyeth ray film school in pune i think there is a adyar film institute also in in uh, madras in chennai so there are many places many prestigious film schools and if you have a lot of money you can go to western boards in india in, in in mumbai or you have lots of money you can go to different uh, places i mean different film schools in the world also. there is famu there is uh, you know the yeah, university of southern california there is a lot of film schools is very really expensive but yeah if you can afford that you can go but wherever you go but uh, you you keep the passion with you and follow your instinct that's that's what that that's the key that's what is going to lead you to something something else you know 
that will transform you let because i be, I, I believe that the film school the peer group which i was uh, dealing with in 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 fti in, in film, film school the cinema i watched which that that grew me as a different person that made me a different a universal person i could have a universal point of view maybe i think this is this is an this is this is just a it's an investment for and the the life which is going to come <clears throat> yeah so yeah i think that's it for now hi uh, arati yes sir so uh, yeah, uh, shall we move to the question with the speech yeah. question yeah yeah please how was it okay. Okay. it was good sir truly inspiring okay thank you okay so oh, yeah. uh, the first question we got is what are the scopes in the field of sound engineering <clears throat> scopes in the field of sound engineering is the first thing is cinema which we deal with and there is television which you can uh, you you can work there is television there is cinema there is there is gaming gaming is a big industry which is which is a really big industry and i and there are sound installations there is live sound which people do <coughs> i have a friend who is from a film, film school sorry <coughs> he is he is doing sound installations all, all around the world and he did his, his phd from a film school in netherlands then he started doing <coughs> roaming around the world and he is doing sound installations there is like infinite things you can do with uh, i have did this because sound art which is which which don't which doesn't have a limitation which has a lot of uh, opportunities but mostly cinema in in our our place it, it's mostly cinema and television that's what i would say and live sound maybe yeah yes arati can we go to the next question so we have a question um and sandeep so can you uh, can you yeah. please explain movies yeah. which inspired you as a sound designer or can you tell the movie yeah definitely the okay the okay. i think the uh, uh, i'll i'll start from uh, kerala uh, yeah can you tell the movies which has sound scapes which you believe I remember you have every, passionately yeah, talked about the soundscapes of Tenmavin Kombatha in an interview. Yeah, see, every film has soundscape. Without soundscape, there's no film. Like they cannot make a film. If it's a documentary film, it has soundscape, and if it's a fiction, if it's a drama, it definitely has a soundscape. The the approach to the soundscape will be different in different different genre. <clears throat> Tenmavin Kombatha was an amazing uh, example for that. How they made the village through sound. which was which was great and i lots of films which uh, uh, i think it depends on the sound the designer who who did the film and i i think one of the uh, this was a question which was asked in the um uh, in my fta interview also fine go to the next go to the next question sir yeah let's go to the next question yeah okay so this is question that is how do to you for going to this career after having a secure government job okay how do you feel about that yeah uh, how did you I think family there is nothing uh, there's nothing secular i mean there's nothing secure like you when I mean, you don't know when you're dying right like it's just a uh, family response wasn't really good because they uh they, they were not uh, really happy for me to leave my job and go there but okay but i had to go i i, I just went uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah because most of our problems is that once we settle okay. in a government job is really yeah. difficult to quit a job and uh, that's how that's how it happened and uh, yeah. i thought i'll i'll i can i mean i i couldn't convince them because they are not ready to uh, con- get convinced 
but i i told them okay. i want to do this and uh we have another question from justin so you ah. said about passion and following it uh so you said about passion and following it mm. many doesn't have the perseverance to follow mm. through how do you stay focused with your passion during mm. failure i didn't fail who did i say <laughs> see there is a uh, i i think it's it's, it's all about uh, you know if you want to do really do want to do something then then you'll do whatever it takes to do it so that's how i i started uh, and cinema is something which we you always watch right and if you see when i i get i uh, when i have maybe bad days or i get a little upset and all that thing, i i for inspiration i watch some films and i get like i get inspiration so maybe the films which i, I used to watch that <clears throat> that keep me inspiring yeah i think that that's what need to continue you need to be within within it yeah. okay uh, so next question is from martin other than sound and films do you okay. have any other interest or hobbies i used to play cricket i loved playing playing cricket during my school and college days and and okay. i i i i would like to do that and i used to i read i read a lot i okay. i like more mostly non fiction Uh-huh. I I I read I watch movies I I like to play cricket but now I don't get time to play cricket but yeah <laughs> I read a lot uh-huh. I mean I I use I continue reading Okay yeah <clears throat> Okay so here is the next question from Raju can you elaborate in hmm. sound installation Sound installation <clears throat> Yeah Sound installation is a it's a vast thing like it's it's like a video installation okay. you do uh, we do this, right? like uh, a video installations on a maybe you can project something and show it on a on a you know with a projector or they do video installations on the on buildings and all that right uh-huh. on uh, there is there is it's a, it's another uh, you know it's another Job all together the video installation is it's it's a different art so like that people do sound installation also by recording different sounds and if if there is a if there is a video installation going on you can incorporate sound installation also with that or you can only have sound installations with with you give a subject or you have a subject and you basically what you do is you record sounds from different kind of sounds and you blend it and you make a collage. Mm-hmm. and you uh, express an idea that is that is sound installation art there are people who who is still you know getting into it i mean who is still doing it the sound installations yes. which is completely a, a passion in another another level okay. <laughs> so basically i have a friend who who who, who traveled to europe okay and i think he lives in europe uh-huh. yeah so he he does uh, with uh, get a get a gallery and invite people saying that there's a sound installation going on that this sound installation of this and oh. he he already recorded sound and he mixed it and designed it and he plays it for them and they yeah. they all listen to it maybe 10 to 15 min- minutes and then they discuss on it how what is all, what was it it's a beautiful uh, job all together to do okay Okay, so here's the next question. Yeah. Through we get him. Yeah. More than uh, the interest to sound, how much is the importance hmm. of hard work and learning skills in your career? See, it's it's, it's all hard work because you don't uh, you you have you can have passion and you can have intelligence also, but if you don't, if you're not hardworking for your passion, then then you you you're nothing. Every day you need to work. so every day you need to uh, take another step to to your uh, passion your ambition your aim what do you, what do you want to do there's nothing called aim but still maybe you can have a passion and ambition that okay i want to do this it's it's not about the uh, it's not about you getting somewhere yeah. it's about you achieving something it's about you you're doing something in it 
you're not going to achieve anything if you're becoming the i don't know the most popular man in the world or the most richest man in the world but the the journey is the journey is beautiful so that journey you have to work hard like it for the, every step you have to work hard to uh, get in, into it now i'm doing a film i'm directing a film i'm doing a sound design for another film it's a kannada film it's called 10 it's a boxing film so i haven't done a film like that with a lot of boxing included so it's, it's fun like i i need to do a lot of research and hard work to do a, a sound design for a film like that Okay. It's it's fun. You learn yeah. by uh, the process, and yeah, lots of hard work is needed for that. You need to figure out a way to design sound for a feature film. That's yeah. completely hard work. And and for a TA entrance also, I I I watched a lot of films. I made a lot of notes. Lots of hard work needed. Uh-huh. Even if you have yeah. passion, you have to work hard for achieving <laughs> that. Right? definitely otherwise you sir you can't do anything without this passion is this passion <laughs> you need to <clears throat> work on work on hard and hard okay so yeah. uh, sir shamna asked a question who is the sound engineer you are looking at to as a model i don't have a model i, I mean there is nothing like that like the, see there is rasul rasul uh, who used to come to that there are a lot of film school pass out uh, seniors including the soul who used to come uh, come back to teach us workshops and all that <clears throat> so now i used to go to film school to get uh, to teach them uh, workshop give them workshop and stuff and i i learned a lot of things from rasul pukuti and sadish pm was bahubali sound designer so they all came to teach us in the institute and i worked with rasul also so basically the workflow work, it's not about the workflow it's about the attitude what you learn it's not the wo- work also work you the work how to figure out your work you are learning from your film school but the attitude to be in a in an industry is in a in a film yeah place is different so i think i learned attitude from rasul but yeah. there's i don't know if there is someone i'm looking up to but there are a lot of people who is looking I and mean, doing great stuff all around the world uh, like uh, the sound designers like um uh, you know <clears throat> yeah there's a lot of sound designers in the world like uh, including water mode lots of guys but uh they have done what they have done it's great but now it's it's our chance and what we have to do is the future so let's right. let's focus on that yeah, yeah. okay so now uh next akash has a question for a sound enthusiast mm. can you suggest some <coughs> platforms to learn in your own field platforms in your own i mean you can also in learn yourself yeah huh. like in, basically internet that's what you can do you can you can google you can i don't know book wise you don't you uh, uh, there, there are books but uh, mostly there are books on sound design you can read huh. there's a book from uh, robert brusson the not so on a cinematographer is something which is advisable to read there is the, the blink of an eye from walter mood there are books on sound design there is but then mostly it's internet like you you'll search you can get whatever you want in internet now and google it you'll get it and, and what whatever you need to search you can definitely learn a lot of things by yourself hmm. um, maybe these about any softwares or something which helps to learn no software will help you to do that the software is just just a medium i mean software i mean today there is one software and tomorrow there can be some other software it's not about software it will change software is you can learn it easily you can learn a software easily but the sensibility is something you need to develop through this uh, studies the sensibility of making a film the sensibility of designing sound to a film that is important so softwares are not like softwares are important but you can learn it easily or you'll get people who can operate the software very well and you can make them do it also yeah. the yeah the technical job yeah. so uh, there is pro tools yeah uh, yeah okay so we have another uh, question from keshav how do you keep yourself updated to the latest technological update uh, updates to the sound can you mention some places Hello. 
yeah when i'm when i'm doing feature films huh. which is going to be released or which is going to the platforms online platforms so i'm dealing with the most sophisticated equipments and most sophisticated softwares and systems like dolby atmos and all that so we are dealing with that every day so that's how we keep updated you keep updated with the work you do every day yeah okay so the, that was the last question we had hmm. okay um, perfect timing okay. yeah okay so so it's i think it's really inspira inspiration inspirational session because uh, hmm. we all have some kind of passions in us but hmm. we are all afraid yeah. of uh, uh, leaving our comfort zone because i exactly. don't know what happens next yeah I leave your com that. comfort zone there's nothing called comfort zone <laughs> that's yeah. the problem you believe in the god inside you like you huh. yeah that's what you need to do <laughs> <That's> <laughs> okay you. okay sir. so how was that session is good right the audio wise the yeah. session was okay right but yeah it was really after good that, Actually, after that oh. after that i mean audio wise we couldn't i couldn't hear a lot of things after that yeah, but, uh, okay but still okay. it was really inspirational sir thank you thanks for the okay. thanks for the platform to talk about it Thanks, Arvind. Thanks, Krishnan. Thanks, Arvind. Thank, Thank you. Uh, Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much for having uh, joining us, uh, joining with us. It was really inspirational. Thank you. Especially the things you mentioned about Abraham Lincoln and the story behind the shoemaker yeah. and all those things were really yeah. inspirational. <laughs> and also your story definitely was inspirational to all of us. Uh, from uh, us, all of us Thank from you. ASAP and uh, all from all the participants. uh i thank you thank yeah. you for joining us thank you thanks man thanks a lot bye 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 see you